sync. Here in the UK, a lot of people uh, have a problem with halal slaughter. And without getting too political, with a recent British referendum and uh, the seemingly increasing far right wing movement, um, a lot of people have become emboldened to speak up about their dislike of halal slaughter. And don't get me wrong, we both have a problem with halal slaughter. I just have an inkling that it's for very different reasons. There's been a few times that I've been doing some street activism and a person's come up to our group and said, well, you should worry about that halal slaughter because that's inhumane. And the first problem that I always bring up with them is that there isn't really any humane way to kill somebody who doesn't want to die. Even those who insist that uh, non-halal slaughter is humane wouldn't want their pet dog to be put down if they were ill. Um, the same way that a cow is killed in a traditional British slaughterhouse. Also, halal meat isn't always labelled as such, and even when it is, it isn't always labelled clearly. And so the people who have this complaint are probably eating halal meat anyway without realising it. Unless they read every label very clearly, or they research every company that they buy from. Um, in which case, they'll probably be pretty good vegan anyway. So the best way to ensure that you're not eating anybody who had to suffer a halal slaughter is to be vegan. There's this somewhat bizarre attitude in the UK that bolt gunning somebody in the head or shocking them before you kill them makes killing them humane. However, in the UK, roughly 10% of cows are stunned ineffectively before they're killed. Roughly 4 million sheep regain consciousness before they have their throats cut. About 125,000 pigs are stunned ineffectively. And a further million on top of that regain consciousness whilst they're either bleeding to death or they're put into a vat of boiling water. And 62 million chickens, turkeys, geese and ducks will regain consciousness whilst they're bleeding to death. About 9,000 birds per hour will avoid the electric pool intended to stun them, which means that they'll be killed whilst they're fully conscious. That means that there are a lot of animals that die in standard British slaughterhouses in a very similar way to animals that would be killed in a way that would be deemed halal or kosher. Part of the reason that a lot of people give us as to why we should worry about halal slaughter is that it's the worst in the industry, and so we should focus on that first. But let's say we do that and we're successful in it and we put an end to halal slaughter. So what, there's still going to be billions of land animals and trillions of sea animals that are killed per year. Um, to the animals, it doesn't make any difference. I also find this argument to be pretty self-defeating of a lot of people who say it. People will often say, oh yeah, well it's fine if we kill them as long as they've lived a good life up until then. But the fact that they have a problem with this kind of slaughter shows that they know that there's something wrong with killing them, regardless of how good a life they've lived up until that point. But to be completely real, a lot of the reason that people give this argument is a mixture of cognitive dissonance and xenophobia. A lot of people know that killing is wrong and they don't really want to hurt animals, but they also like to eat them. And so they'll point to another group with similar but different practices. And they'll point the finger at this group and they'll call their practices inhumane uh, because they don't think that they personally participate in them. Now this isn't a video in defense of halal slaughter, don't get me wrong, no kind of slaughter is okay. I've been told if the knife is sharp enough that the animal won't feel any pain, um, but I challenge you to watch any footage of an animal be killed in a way that is deemed halal and look into the victim's eyes and tell me if you think that they seem okay with what is happening to them. I wouldn't be okay with that happening to me and I'm certain that if you saw that happening just on the streets you wouldn't be okay with it either. Regardless of how it's done, a life being taken is still a life being taken and that will never be okay in any circumstance that anybody watching this is going to find themselves in any time soon. But I think I'll leave that one there, you know the drill, if you uh, agree with me, if you disagree with me let me know in the comment section down below the video if you're more subject to that you can leave me a thumbs up a thumbs down and yeah this has been another broke early video and i'll talk to you next time <laughs>